Hey guys, it's DJHR and we have another event that started today and the surprisingly it's well not surprisingly because we saw some some evidence that it will be Nagato. He's finally out. So the way that you get him is you can either recharge 10,000 gold in one day during the event. I mean then each day if you the cumulative recharge that you do that one day you actually get him as a reward for the 10,000 gold so if you do 10,000 gold a day you'll have three Nagatos there's another way that you can get him is by collecting all the Akatsuki which is how I got him he's 16 members of the Akatsuki and the, the next way is if you recharge 500 gold for three continuous days you'll get a Nagato so let's go look at the notice. All right, so this is his third form that he gets. And to go to, go to his third form, he needs deeply believe, yeah, deeply believe times 60. And the way that you get that is you have to recharge. And if you recharge to 10,000 10, gold, you will you will get 20 in all, uh, one, you get one at 500 recharge, two at the 1,000 recharge, at 1,900, and so on until you reach up to 10,000. If you go up there, and it will be equal to 22 altogether for the deeply believe, yeah, deeply believe um, um, material. You can also get it from the event dungeon, which how how you get it is it the event dungeon drops. Uh, Naruto Child of Prophecy and Nagato Child of Prophecy. You get those two and you combine those two and you have a chance of getting a deeply believe. Or I think it's one million um, silver. So so this is his third form here. This here is his second form and the way to train him to that one is you need 60 Nagato Kunai. Now these can be dropped at dungeon 20-2, but the drop is somewhat low, I would say. Uh, I would say about 1 in 20, but it would probably be a little better than that, probably like 1 in 15 or something like that. I tried some of it and I used a lot of, uh, well, I would say you probably would need at least about more than 3,000 stamina to farm all 60. So, you could also get them by recharging, and when you recharge to 10,000, you get 76. And the re you get one if you recharge 220, three if you recharge 500, well, three plus the one, of course. And then it was six, and then nine, of course, adding all them up, and they all add up. When you reach it to 10,000, you get 76. And you need 60 of them to upgrade Nagato from his base form to his second form. Okay, these are some skills that are, I guess, that you could get from conversation, you you know, using your goal that you, you that you bought. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you them in a minute. Now, Heavenly Life, you could just read that, I don't have to say anything about that. I'll just show you them. So that this video don't be as long as the last one. Uh, this is an equipment. He gets a black rod. And a chakra receiver manifestation. Gives a lot of dodge and HP. Blah blah. Yeah. Ninjutsu attack. HP. Chakra recovery. Now this is what I'm talking about with the Akatsuki organization collection event. If you collect all of the Akatsukis, you're able to get the one Nagato Uzumaki from the rewards um, tab. And these are the Akatsukis that you need. You need Diva Path, Naroko Path, Human Path, Ashura Path, Petrified Path, Animal Path, Datoro, Conan, Reanimated Adachi, which I guess is good because they make it in a way so that any all everybody has a chance to get this. Uh, Setsu, Rochimaru, Kisame, Kisame, 
Konkusu, Hiden, Sorcery, and Obito. Now, this dungeon here is the dungeon I was talking about where you could get the Naruto uh, oh, Child of Prophecy and Nagato Child of Prophecy, but you see it drops 10 things. It drops some nice drops, Akashi, he Red Jade times 3, a Broken Black Rod, um, Satsu Fragments, the Naruto and Nagato stuff, um, Bloodline Stones, Seal Stones, All Powerful, Scrolls, Ninja Spirit, and Naroka Path Fragments. I guess they put those two inside of it because they are usually on the event or by chance you get you get you could get Setsu from the gold draw. But Naroka Path is usually event only. So if you have enough stamina, I would say farm for him. Alright, so and this is just saying what I was saying about you get a uh, deeply Believe or you get the 1,000, 1 million silver coins bag. Right. This one here, I said, what I said before, blah, blah. You can basically read all of this in your own notifications. Yeah. These are all the stuff that you get from recharging. These are the, the compensation stuff. You get, yeah. Reanimated Idachi is for if you if you use six thousand gold you get reanimate Idachi, and I guess they put that in there because farming for him he will use a lot of stamina, because his it drops better than the kunai, but it's still you know a lot of stamina that you can use. I had to farm for that one this morning, and that was the only one I was missing, so I was able to get it. So I was happy when I used over three thousand. <laughs> I used so. Probably 3,000 stamina trying to get that Adachi. <laughs> yeah. And the Chakra Receiver Manifestations. Blah, blah, blah. For 9,000. Nagato's Black Rod for 20,000. <laughs> yeah, I definitely ain't getting that. And the Passive Skill Heavenly Life for 25,000. Mm. Getting up there in the, in, in, in the thousands for the school for them things. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna get it, but some people probably will. But that's up to them to. That's up to you if you wanna use your money or or if you have it saved up, good for you. You go and get your stuff if you think it's worth it. They also have the build you will get if you spend two hundred gold, you get a broken rod, broken black rod, and if you spend fifteen thousand, you get a Koski. Do you think that's the 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 material you need to upgrade to level four and also to make your your um your ninja's diamond for whoever it, it's it uses it for. Yeah they also have that if you um cumulatively uh recharge two thousand gold you get a Conan. So they made that available as well if case you don't have one. Yeah, so let's go check out Nagato. This is my Nagato. Right now he's at he's at level seventy five. This is his combat power, the skill that I have on him. His skill is Gale Palm. It deals ninjutsu damage to a single target and knock flying for one round. I don't know what flying is yet, but we'll find out together. So I put on Shira Tensu Tensei Tensei. <laughs> Yeah, you already know what that does, and vision sharing, it's only a level 1 because I never really used it, but I got it. So, it's the only one that he could use because his bloodline, the only bloodline he has is the Renegon. Great, at least that makes sure that you, you get all of them in one go. We don't have to keep switching. Alright, so, these are the, the equipment that I have on him. I have P and Shower Gun. Two on him. I have his black rod to the fort. So we'll also find out what this release skill mirrored sudden attacker will do as well. And this is the S Ryan Gambus Ninja Suit. I like it because it gives you 
Ninjutsu defense, Taijutsu defense, and some good tenacity. I just put these things on there so you can have stuff. I put Mew Boots for the dodge. Uh, lock Rod. Yeah. That's from, from... I guess I have the white tiger ring on him from Conan. So, that's the stuff from him. Now, Curse Seals, I'll probably give him... I'll just give him his... Let me see. I'll put the HP and the Wrath on him. Okay. So let's go put him in a in a fight. There he is. By himself with any boost or whatever. He get his that's a CP. So let's go do a dungeon. I like to do against Almighty Push because I like them. Let's see what he does to them. The sense his attack is like a one hitter, it probably won't be good for this dungeon. But since I have Shiro Tensu on it, it should be good. Okay, I guess that flying means that they can't attack or use their skills, probably. As you can see, it's still, it only puts a crash to mark up top, so we don't really see what it does. But as you can see, it, it skipped him. So maybe it's like, it's somewhat like a stun for one round. He's doing better than I thought he was going to do, especially since he's only a one-hit attacker. So, but it's going to probably, it's, he won't, most likely he won't finish them because it's low attack right now. But, it's a good fight. At least he took down one of them. He, at least he will take down one of them. Yep, took him down. All right, so let me find a one. Let me put him up against one person. Which one is that? Let me see what he does against Moon Eye Plan. This is Madara. Let's see how he does there. Yeah, she's doing pretty good. Okay. So against Madara, he's doing pretty good, I guess, because his stun attack, and then, and then he got the Gale Palm thing, and I also noticed that his chakra is recovering very, very quickly. Wow, we reached thirty already! Dang, I guess I need to get him. That was going so fast, I didn't even notice it was going to. It, we reached around thirty. All right, so I guess he just needs a little bit more attack, and he'd be able to take that dungeon. Alright, so that's Nagato. Now I'll just show you I'll show you the dungeon. This is the dungeon. You need thirty stamina and of course one thousand silver and this is so you, you fight Conan and and um Nagato. And my team is so powerful that we just destroyed him. You see, you get a Naroka pot fragment. Too bad I don't need it because I already have Naroka to gold. So let's do it one more time. Let's do it a couple times to see what drops. Bloodline Stone. Conan is dying because when she attacks, she attacks all, and my Hanzo has poison body, so she dies from Hanzo. That's the Nagato Child of Prophecy stuff. Alright, so let me just show y'all the dungeon. That's this one here, 20-2. You need this, you need 60 of these. And if I attack, let's see if anything drops. Skip it. No, it doesn't drop. 
Challenge it again. Skip to come on, drop some. See, I, I did five, five, and didn't get nothing. So now this dungeon here has an item for Nagato that's a training, training material, but it's for his fourth form. It's for when you get his third form, this item here will be used to go to his next form. So it's at 20, 24, 12, but I doubt his next form is released. Let me see. Yeah, it's another form after this one. And it's not released yet, so maybe maybe it'll be released in the next event for the peen. So I'm not worrying about getting him upgraded or whatever. I'll just do the dungeons, whatever I get during this time, I'll get because there isn't any incentive. Basically, there isn't any um, a reward for getting him to to his third and second and third form. So I really don't care about upgrading him much right now. So. Okay, so I told you how to get him and what you need to get him and all that stuff. So that's all this event. But on another note, I just wanted to show you all that I was able to get, where is he? Toby Ramo to sit the bronze during that last event. I bought a I bought a lot of the keys with my gold and I just went crazy in the dungeon trying to get his souls and all the stuff and after about 110 keys I was able to get enough souls to create him. Of course that meant I couldn't get my next my next um Hashirama. So Hashirama is still is still basic. But Next time when his event comes around, I'll definitely be able to get him. Because, let's see, I have 71 of his souls. I just, and the only thing that I'm missing is the broken mask. And I would need 19 broken mask. So, yeah. Let's see. So right now I have 26 of the Nagato's um, kunai and I have one, I have two of the deeply believe. I have a Nagato Child Prophecy and use it. This one here is the Naruto Child of Prophecy and use them together and you get the deeply believe and discretion. All right, so that's the end of this video. If you like the video, please subscribe and tap that like button. All right, thank you for watching.